We're going. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So, who is James Todd? Uh, I'm, um, I'm a, what can I say? I don't know anymore. I, <laughs> I'm this, I guess. Yeah. I'm just some guy. I started, uh, I decided to protest, and in uh, protesting, I decided marching may be the best um, way to do it because it's something I knew how to do. I thought it was achievable. Yeah. I got, uh, I went out and made an announcement, um, kind of controversial. Uh, fashion because I went in my uniform because I'm a member of the armed forces, um, and a federal government employee. Um, <clears throat> I disagreed with the policies that were, that were put in place, and um, you know I just I thought it was time. Like you know I I didn't do this on my own. I was inspired by a number of things. It wasn't you know like the you know the protesters in Ottawa. But before that, even there was a number of people who came out and were speaking out you know, about a lot of stuff. And um, you know, really, I just kind of put myself in this position where I was more visible and, and, and was, you know, doing something that was kind of uh, people could identify with. So I got, you know, more exposure. But really, I'm working. You know, I'm I'm I'm, on, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants that came before me. So <clears throat> I mean, really, it's just I'm just some guy um, doing my job. Dude, it's incredible to me. I mean, like, I, I'm right there with you, but you've marched from Vancouver, and now you're hours away from your destination. Right, you've right. marched like 50 kilometers every single day. Well, no, no, not every single day. We had a, we had a day off every five or six days. Okay, it's well, it wasn't a day off, but it was. <laughs> What's we in marching. your pack? What are you, what are you carrying? How much weight is it? Yeah, no, it's been lightened quite a lot because the weather's warmer. Right, so I don't have to carry that much stuff. But I mean, we started off kind of heavier because it was winter. It's like you know, 40, 50 pounds, but it's probably down to 25, not 30. It's incredible. So, what have you learned on this trip? Wow, I don't know. I've le I've learned that um, you know people are pretty amazing. Um, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't have got here without the support of the team. You know, like I had originally thought I would do this on my own, but I, you know, I probably could have done it but I, I definitely probably would still be in Alberta if I was trying to do it by myself right so in order to maintain the speed and, and the rate of movement that we had you know I had the team helping me and putting food in me and, and all kinds of stuff so it was really impressive that um, the way that we all pulled together and it's unfortunate that more people don't know about it that was uh, kind of something that um, off the street it was kind of uh, that. That I think is an untold story. Hello, sir. How are you? It was. It was kind of an untold story.